The new Frasier series on Paramount Plus brings lots of new faces into Dr. Crane's life, including a young mom with a tragic backstory named Eve. But where may you have seen the actress who plays her before? The 2023 Frasier revival shares a name with its predecessor, but its setting and time frame set the new show apart in plenty of key ways from the classic 90s sitcom. The most important addition is Frasier Crane's adult son, Freddy. Frasier uproots himself to visit and eventually live with his son in Boston at the series' start, giving the revival an environment entirely distinct from the iconic Seattle setting of the original series. At the start of the first episode, Freddy lives in an apartment with a friend of his named Eve. Frasier initially assumes that Freddy and Eve are in a relationship before learning that Eve and her infant son moved in with Freddy after the child's father, a firefighting colleague of Freddy's, died on the job. I don't need to be told who you are. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. Jess Salguero plays Eve in the Frasier revival. Her filmography before joining Frasier consists largely of television work, including roles in shows from the past decade that span a variety of genres. Working Moms aired on the CBC in Salguero's home country of Canada between 2017 and 2023. Netflix carries the show for international viewers. As the title implies, it follows a group of mothers attempting to overcome the myriad struggles of balancing an active career with motherhood in an urban Toronto setting. Danny Kynes' Anne Carlson is one of these moms. In season one, Anne decides that her daughter, Alice, might benefit from some discipline and hires a young woman with a stern demeanor, played by Salguero, to babysit. The character takes on the nickname Mean Nanny. Mean Nanny? Yeah, that's what we call you. Mean Nanny. Hmm. I don't care, I kind of like it. But she and Alice end up getting along, undermining Anne's plan. Mean Nanny continues working for Anne and becomes a recurring character through seasons two and three. Her storyline reaches its dramatic apex when Annie's best friend Kate finds out that her husband Nathan is having an affair with Mean Nanny near the end of season two. This affair, understandably, leads to Mean Nanny's departure from the series. Salguero plays the character in a total of 12 episodes. Canadian sitcom Letterkenny takes place in the fictional Canadian small town of the title. Frequently causing drama in the town of Letterkenny are its hockey teams, including both the Letterkenny Shamrocks and the Letterkenny Irish. Three of the show's core cast members, Riley, Jonesy, and Shorzy, play for both of these teams at various points in the show. Season 5 introduces a women's hockey team called the Letterkenny Shamrockettes. Throughout the team's periodic appearances, its two key players are Betty Ann, played by Kelly McCormick, and Mary Ann, played by Salguero. In a May 2020 interview with Popternative, Salguero said that she and McCormick had such a good time on the Letterkenny set that she left sore one day as a result of nearly laughing during filming. Referring to chirping, the show's term for ribbing or mocking, she said, I remember leaving set one day, I think probably our first time we ever did it, which was this locker room scene where Betty Ann and I are chirping each other out. We left that day and I'm like, man, I have the worst chest pains. And I was like, what is this? Oh, it's holding in laughter. It's literally from me trying so hard not to laugh. Who would have thought the girl who ingested mosquito eggs after drinking out of mud puddles would ever almost be accepted to community college? In the first episode of the satirical superhero show The Boys, protagonist Huey Campbell's partner Robin Ward, played by Salguero, dies after Flash parody A-Train collides with her at a high speed, killing her instantly. After her death, Robin retains a presence in a few more episodes in season one. Huey is so upset by her death that he joins Billy Butcher as a member of The Boys organization, which is devoted to stopping the world's overpowered and egotistical superheroes. While he's still coming to terms with losing her, Huey is haunted by visions of Robin, particularly after starting up a new relationship with Starlight. Before long, though, Starlight helps him move on. Salguero shared some insight into her brief but impactful time working on The Boys in a September 2019 interview with Collider. I had a spidey sense when I was reading these scripts. I was... I hadn't felt that way about anything I'd read. The Expanse aired on Sci-Fi for three seasons before its cancellation and subsequent return as an Amazon original series. In the first Prime Video season of The Expanse, Salguero debuted as Chandra Way, who has an amorous entanglement with Amos Burton. Complicating their interactions is her devotion to her boss, Adolphus Murtry, who she credits with saving her life. Chandra is relatively kind-hearted, but Murtry is outright evil. So, while Salguero maintains a central role throughout Season 4 as a member of its main cast, her character's association with the villainous Murtry culminates with Amos having to kill her, concluding her run on the series. Salguero told the Fearless Nomad in July 2022, I loved playing Chandra away on The Expanse. I love the complexity with which she was written. When something is written well, I find that the character sticks with me and is sometimes incorporated into who I am. She's one of those. In 2020, Netflix adapted the novel Tiny Pretty Things into an original TV series, the first and only season of which hit the streaming service in December of that year. 
It's mostly set at the Archer School of Ballet in Chicago, which trains elite dancers but hides some insidious secrets. Salguero plays Isabel, a former soldier working as a Chicago cop. She's tasked with investigating the case of Cassie Shore, a top dancer whose fall from the school roof is ruled an accident, but which Isabel suspects was the result of foul play. Salguero said of Isabel in a May 2021 interview, Yeah, she had a hard go of it for sure. She was a dark uh, character. She also mentioned that she filmed a brief role in the Netflix superhero drama Jupiter's Legacy at the same time. Between then and the Frasier reboot, Salguero also worked on shows including Why the Last Man and Sip, and did voice work for the 2021 video game Far Cry 6.